Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. New COVID-19 cases have been growing rapidly in BC in recent weeks, but new cases have slowed in the interior. After early July saw spiking case numbers in the interior health region, largely linked to multiple exposure events in Kelowna, new cases have slowed with just 21 new cases between July 31st and August 13th in the Okanagan. Province-wide, though, cases have been climbing rapidly, with active cases hitting 629 on Friday, the highest number since early May. On Sunday, a landslide in Penticton pulled the ground out from beneath a home on Heather Road, sending it crashing into a home directly below on Creekside Road. The homes had been evacuated and no one was injured. The slide was still creeping as of Monday. Yesterday was the highest level of activity of the slope, slope moving, it moved about 7 to 8 feet, uh, and that impacted the house directly. Um, but right now it seems to be uh, quietened down, but it is still creeping. Uh, until it stops and completes uh, the slide, we can't really do anything more at this point. And a woman in Lumbee has been dealing with a similar issue since the spring, after her home was condemned after the land underneath it began slipping away. April, the land started sinking and apparently it was a known landslide. On May 7th, I was finally given an eviction notice to get out of the house because I'm at risk of life being here. A 61-year-old man drowned at Okanagan Lake Beach in Penticton on Tuesday. The man, visiting from Alberta, was snorkeling near the shore when a nearby family realized he had lost consciousness. Candace Johnston said when she pulled the man's mask off, foam was coming out of his nose and mouth. Emergency crews arrived on the scene and performed CPR, attempting to resuscitate him, but they were unsuccessful. The BC Coroner Service is now investigating. Tejwant Danju was convicted Thursday of the second-degree murder of his partner, Rama Guaravarapu, in a West Kelowna hotel in July 2018. Danju had admitted to striking Guaravarapu dozens of times with a wine bottle after the Surrey couple had spent a day of wine tasting at Mission Hill Winery. As his defense, Dan Ju had claimed he had been suffering from a delusional disorder, believing his partner had been having an affair, and therefore couldn't form the intent for murder. But Justice Allison Beams called the killing purposeful and calculated, and convicted him of murder. A sentencing hearing will be held on September 14th. And there was a happy ending to a terrifying ordeal near Beaverdale on Wednesday, after a two-year-old boy wandered off and spent three hours exploring several kilometers of forestry roads by himself. Police, search and rescue crews and the BC Conservation Officer Service were called to the Clark Lake area just before 1 p.m. to assist in the search for the small boy, using a helicopter, kayaks, quads and police service dogs to help. Finally, the child was found by his uncle on Beaver Creek Road, about five kilometers from where he was last seen. The boy was uninjured in the ordeal. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.